Hello and welcome back. We are continuing with our basic review of sinusoids. And in this activity, we are going to use Euler's equation to show that a cosine is actually made of two fundamental exponential sinusoids and the same thing for the sine. So <clears throat> let's do here an engineering proof, if you will. So let's see. What we're trying to prove is that the cosine of theta is actually made out of one half e j theta plus one half e minus j theta. That's the first um, equation that we want to show. And perhaps a good way to do this is by noting that Euler's relationship tells us e to the j theta is equal to cosine of theta plus j sine of theta. Similarly, we have the e to the minus j theta is equal to cosine of theta minus j sine of theta. Notice that we could, we have two equations and we could add them. Plus, and that will give us e to the j theta plus e to the minus j theta so this e to the j theta plus this is equal to cosine and cosine, cosine one cosine of theta plus one cosine of theta is equal to two cosine of theta and j sine of theta plus minus j sine of theta is zero, plus zero. Or what we have is that if we solve for cosine, cosine of theta equals one half e to the j theta plus one half e to the minus j theta. And that basically demonstrates or shows that indeed cosine of theta is one half e to the j theta minus one half e to the minus j theta, which we will use when we are doing spectral analysis, etc. throughout the course. Now, Let's show the sine. In the case of a sine, sine of theta is equal to one half e to the minus j theta. So, sorry, e to the j theta with a j at the denominator because there is a phase shift plus one half. pardon me, minus one half j e to the minus j theta. So notice we can do the same thing here. e to the j theta is equal to cosine of theta plus j sine of theta. That's Euler's relationship. e to the minus j theta is equal to cosine of theta minus j sine of theta. We have two equations, we can add them, we can subtract them. So in this case, I'm going to subtract them. And what we have is e to the j theta minus e to the minus j theta, this side of the equation. In this case, what we have? Cosine of theta minus cosine of theta, is a zero here, plus, j sine of theta minus minus, so plus j sine of theta gives me 2 j sine of theta. Again, j is what we use for the imaginary number in electrical engineering, not to confuse it with i, which typically you will see in mathematical uh, equations, simply because we use i for current. And so j is equal to square root of minus 1 is i, our imaginary number. And so if we solve for sine of theta, we have that sine of theta is equal to 1 half j e to the j theta minus 1 half j e to the minus j theta. So what, what are we saying here? Number one is that a cosine is made of two 
exponential sinusoidals, meaning these exponential sinusoidals are the most basic building block of signals. And that's how where we are going to use them as the basis when we are de developing our continuous time Fourier transform, etc. As well as when we are testing uh, systems, we're going to set one of these exponential, complex exponential sinusoids through and see what we get at the output. And, and you know from linear time invariant theory, LTI, that if you put one of these complex exponential sinusoids through a system, you get a complex exponential sinusoid of the same frequency through the system because they are the eigenfunctions of these systems, meaning they get immune or immune to LTI systems. The only thing that changes is the amplitude and the phase. Just quickly, again, what did we do here? We use our Euler formula with the positive and the minus in the exponential. We add it together so we have e to the j theta plus e to the minus j theta. When you add cosine and cosine, you get the two cosine here. When you add the plus j sine of theta minus j sine of theta, this cancels. And then I just solve for cosine of theta, and that's why you have the one or half. And, and you can express it like this or like this. Same thing for the sine. Sine, um, we use the Euler equation. In this case, we subtracted one by the minus the other in order to come up with the derivation e to the j theta here, minus e to the minus j theta. When we subtract cosine of theta minus cosine of theta, we get zero. And over here, we have a plus. Minus minus is going to make this plus. And with that, we have the expression for sine of theta. You can see that it is made out of two fundamental sinusoidal complex exponentials. The only difference is that we have this j, and that j, you are thinking about the complex plane, real and imaginary, it just represents a phase shift with respect to the cosine signal. We will typically use our cosine a complex exponentials because they do not have that phase shift. Thank you.